Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are solving for 2 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 2. So the first thing we're going to do with this one is we're going to take the natural log of both sides so that we can solve for the exponent. So it'll look like this, natural log of both sides. And then using our logarithm properties, we can move that exponent out to the front. So if we had log of x to the power of b, that would be equal to b log x. So we can take that exponent b and move it to the front. So in this case, we would have x plus 3 natural log of 2 is equal to x plus 2 natural log of 3. Now we can go ahead and expand this out. So we can multiply our x by our natural log of 2 and 3 and do the same thing on the right side. So if we do that, we would be left with, on the left side first, we'd have natural log of 2x, and then 3 natural log of 2. And so on the right side, we'd have natural log of 3 with our x, and then 2 natural log of 3. So with that step again, we just multiplied out our equation here and expanded it. So now that we have done that, let's put them equal to each other. So we'll bring both of these down. And this is what we're left with. Now what we want to do is we want to have our x's on the same side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract 3 natural log of 2 from the left side. So we'd subtract both sides. These would cancel and we'd be left with natural log of 2x is equal to natural log of 3x plus 2 natural log of 3 minus 3 natural log of 2. So now we're going to move the x on the right side over to the left. So we'll subtract that, which means we'll be left with natural log of 2x minus natural log of 3x is equal to 2 natural log of 3 minus 3 natural log of 2. Now what we can go ahead and do is on this left side, we can factor out our x value. So if we factored out our x, we would have natural log of 2 minus natural log of 3 times our x is equal to the right side stayed the same. So now that our x value is on the outside, we can divide by natural log of 2 minus natural log of 3 so that x will be left by itself. So we have x is equal to 2 natural log of 3 minus 3 natural log of 2 over natural log of 2 minus natural log of 3. And that is as simplified as we can make it right now without using calculators. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.